news this morning. Here I was, 37 years old, completely happy healthy, working full time, going to the gym, raising a toddler, and somehow I managed to get stage four cancer. A rare form of stage four breast cancer to make it worse, and this was a heartbreaking diagnosis. Doctors told a local mother that she had less than a year to live, possibly six months, but she refused to accept the prognosis. She recently sat down with us and shared her story in her search for another treatment and her incredible journey that's followed her into remission. Thursday nights are bowling league nights. Friends get together to light up the lanes. For Heather Gallo, nights like this are important. They give her a sense of normalcy, a chance to toss her worries aside, to let fear fly away with the pins. By looking at me, no one would ever know. Her spirit, there we go. her laugh, and her long, flowy hair. Really, look at that hair. You wouldn't know that Heather just barely beat breast cancer. There was a lot of crying. At 37 years old, no medical issues, no genetic history, she got the news. The ultimate gutter ball. I think I knew it was stage four before they told me. Stage four triple negative breast cancer a tricky kind of cancer with nothing, nothing positive about it. Without treatment, I had six months to live. With treatment, I had a year. Doctors told her even the strongest chemotherapy treatments had a slim chance of working. So Heather took matters into her own hands and went searching for an alternative. We were trying to talk her out of it. Yeah, there was a lot of anxiety. Dr. Kenneth Matsumura is an oncologist based in Berkeley, California. He spent more than 20 years working to find a way to eliminate side effects of cancer treatments like chemo. Her case actually worried me quite a bit. It wasn't just the type of cancer she had that was known to be kind of hopeless, but the way they had spread really worried me. His treatment is called SAFE, side effect free chemo. It provides an antidote to the chemo that protects the body's immune and bone marrow cells, giving patients more strength to fight back. The immune cells in the body actually participate, can participate in killing cancer cells during chemotherapy. He had said, you know, I'm, I can't guarantee that I can cure your cancer, but what I can promise you is that I will preserve your quality of life while I try. Oh wait, my turn. For Heather, it was like bowling the second frame, getting a second chance, not for a better score, but for her life. It was who I was. And, you know, I'm many things. I'm a school psychologist, I'm a mom, I'm a wife. Um, but I also happen to have cancer. But that doesn't define me and that's not what I want to be remembered by. Heather started flying out for treatments every other week. But the days in between have been filled with normal moments. Paying bills and picking up after a two-year-old. It's let her live you know, just a normal life and she goes to work and we can eat dinner together and she can play with her son. And on Thursdays, she could still bowl. She actually flew in from treatment at two o'clock in the afternoon and then came bowling that night. What was going on medically behind the scenes though, seemed far from normal. I debated whether I should take on a case this difficult, but we have to give it a try, and I'm glad we did. After just 11 rounds of treatment. Four months after receiving chemotherapy, um, I had a CT scan and there was no sign of cancer whatsoever. Within six months, Heather went from having six months to live to being told her cancer was in remission. I got to tell you I told you so to all my family members. That I told you so? Absolutely worth it. Allowing her to keep doing the simple thing. To enjoy the average in life. I can't ever get that one. But if you're really keeping score, this yeah. is the perfect game. I like to think that I've kind of gone through this with grace, you know. Your life doesn't have to be horrible while you're fighting cancer. It really doesn't.
Well, Heather's fight isn't quite over either. She does have to stay cancer free for three years before doctors say she's really out of the woods. But Dr. Matsumura, the one from Berkeley, California, has helped hundreds of other patients recover from late stage cancer diagnoses. So his treatments are not covered by insurance. But if you want to learn more about his practice and what he does, we do have a link for you on our website. Just go click on this story on IdahoNews.com. It's at the front of the page.